Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you? Fine, and you? Very well. I'm trying to connect here myself. Yes, it's good. So, how was your day? Uh, very, very uh, pesado. Heavy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Heavy. Well, sometimes that happens. But the good thing is that it's almost done. You just have your English class and then you're going to rest. <laughs> yes. Okay, we're going to wait just two more minutes to see if the other people are coming into the class. Okay, everybody, we are going to start the English class today. Welcome. And um, well, first of all, how is the platform going? Have you finished already? Uh, do you have comments, questions? Is everything going well? If you don't have any questions, the other question that I have is uh, how uh, did you send already the papers for the next level? All the documents. Tomorrow is the very last day. So if you haven't done that one, it should be tomorrow. Okay. Sorry, I sneezed. Okay, so we're going to start the English class. Um, yesterday we were describing people. Do you remember? We were talking about uh, how you can describe physically also uh, clothes and some other stuff. So today we're going to start with an activity for that one. Let me then just check. Okay. This is a little reading that we have here. Okay, so what we are going to do is to read. I'm going to read and you are going to repeat so we can check pronunciation. And then we're going to do some activities. So for example, here on the top, we are going to check, uh, you are going to tell me if those are true or false. So for example, number one says Sophia is a student. Then she looks like her mother. Number three, she is extremely tall. Number four, her legs are long. Number five, the boys don't like her. Number six, she is very intelligent. Number seven, Sophia goes to Oxford University. Number eight, she is a positive character. Number nine, she doesn't have a lot of friends. And number ten, in her free time, she does some sports. So those are uh, the first 10 questions. And then we're going to answer the questions below. What does Sophia do? Where does she study? How can you describe her? 
What is her attitude to her friends? Why are her parents proud of her? And just a few more here. Uh, we are going to complete the sentences. Um, this is very easy. I guess we can do it just by seeing the uh, statements. Uh, Sophia, and then blue eyes and long black hair. Hair, and then are extremely long. Number three, at the university she studies, and you are going to tell me what does she study. In her free time she, and then uh, f number five, her parents are proud. Okay, that is kind of easy. So, of course, the first part is to read. Okay, are you ready? We're going to repeat, please. Hi, friends. Hi, friends. Hi, friends. Hi, friends. Let me introduce my sister. Let me introduce my sister. Her name is Sophia, and she is 23 years old. Her name is Sophia, and she is 23 years old. She is absolutely beautiful. She is absolutely beautiful. The boys are very fond of her. The boys are very fond of her. She has got long black hair. She has got long black hair. Blue eyes and a pretty little nose. Blue eyes and a pretty little nose. Her eyelashes are extremely long. Her eyelashes are extremely long. She's got very nice white teeth. She's got very nice white teeth. She's about 176 centimeters. She's about 176 centimeters. Tall and she weighs 56 kilograms. Tall and she weighs 56 grams. She's slim and she has got long legs. She's slim and she has a long leg. But her feet are quite small. But her feet are quite small. She goes to university where she studies economics. She goes to the university. She studies economics. Sophia is very clever. Sophia is very clever. That's why she gets a lot of money from various scholarships. That's why she gets a lot of money from various scholarships. I can't mention any negative features about her. I can't mention any negative about her. She's very kind. She's very kind. She pays attention to her friends. She pays attention to her friends. She has many. She has many. She's usually cheerful and likes jokes a lot. She's usually cheerful and likes jokes a lot. My sister is very helpful. My, my sister, sister is very, very helpful. helpful. She helps me with my homework. She, she helps, helps me with my homework. homework. And always helps my parents around the house. And, and always helps my parents, my parents around the house. In her free time, she works as a model for a big and famous company. In her free time, she works as a model for a big and famous company. She often goes jogging. She often goes jogging. To keep herself fit and healthy. To keep herself fit and healthy. My parents are very proud of her. My parents are very proud of her. Okay, but first of all, we're going to check some vocabulary. Let's see, let's say, hi friends, let me introduce my sister, her name is Tia. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, okay, the boys are very fond of her. Do you know what is to be found? Fond of her. Okay, that is like, um, they are like fans of her. So they follow her and they are very, um, they, they really like her. 
Okay. Okay, uh, here it says she has got long black hair. That is British way. So uh, maybe in the US we are going to say she has long black hair, only that. And that is correct as well. And then says pretty low nose. Eyelashes. Do you know what are eyelashes? Pestañas, no. Very good. That is it. And teeth. What are teeth? Dientes. Very good. And then it says wakes, slim, let's see, low legs. Quite small. Do you remember what is quite? No. Uh, in this case, it's an adverb. So it's going to be bastante pequeños. Okay? Or pequeños. Okay. And the other one it says she's got university economics. Uh, do you remember what is clever? <clears throat> what is a scholarship? Do you know what is a scholarship? No. Okay, that is beca. Una beca. Okay, and it says I can't mention any negative feature. What is a feature? Okay, a feature uh, are like characteristics in this case of her. Uh, it's very common to say features of a cell phone, of a computer, things like that. Features are like characteristics. Uh, what is to be kind? In this case, it's amable. Es como amable algo así. Very good. And she pays attention. Let's see. Cheerful, like jokes a lot. What is a uh, jokes? Como bromista. Very good. Helpful. Let's see. Homework around the house. Um, what is to go jogging? Ejercicio. Okay, that is like uh, como ir a trotar. That is the activity. And then it says keep herself fit and healthy. And proud. What is to be proud? Orgulloso. Very good. So, I guess that is the vocabulary that I see that is kind of new. Um, of course, if you have questions, you can ask me. So, we're going to start with this exercise, complete the sentences. Okay, Sophia. Uh-huh. You want, I can move this. Sophia. Has. has. Very good. <laughs> Sophia has blue eyes and long black hair. And then number two, hair. Hair. I like her eyelashes. Very good. Her eyelashes. Nice. And then at the university she studies. Economy. Economics. Good. Uh, in her free time, she she works. Works, works. nice. Third person. Her parents are proud. That is very easy. Of her. Of her. Good. Let's see uh, the other ones that are on the top left. Okay, so this is going to be like true or false. Sophia is a student. True. True. That is true. Good. She looks like her mother. False. False. This is very interesting. If in the reading that you are doing, um, the information is not there, the answer is going to be always false because we don't know if that is true. Okay? It doesn't say. Okay. Number three, she is extremely tall. What do you think? Is that true or false? false. She's tall. 
um, maybe true. Mm, okay. Yeah, that well. depends on, on the perception, right? It's mm -hmm. not, it's maybe the word, the keyword here is extremely tall. So is she extremely tall? No. False. That is false. So sometimes one word changes everything, right? Number four, okay. her legs are long. True. true. That is true. true. Nice. Number five, the boys don't like her. False. Uh, false. Nice. False. Then we have number six, she's very intelligent. True. True. That is true. Number seven, Sophia goes to Oxford University. False. False, because we don't know, right? It doesn't say. Number eight, which is a positive character. It's true. That is true, because uh, below it says, I can't think of any negative things, right? So, mm -hmm. number uh, nine, she doesn't have a lot of friends. False. That is false. And number 10, in her free time, she does some sports. It's false too. False. False. Okay, nice. Very well. And the last part, what does Sophia do? She's a student. She's a, stu a student, sorry. Where does she study? Economics. Mm, but it says where? At the university. Okay, at the university. university. At the university, good. Number three, how can you describe her? Imagine that. She is beautiful. She's beautiful. She's also, what else? Tall. Tall, good. Intelligent. She's clever. clever. She's good. very kind. She's very, very kind. Helpful. Very helpful. Okay, there are many things that we can say, right? That's good. Number four, what is her attitude to her friends? Pays attention to her friends. She always pays attention. That is very good. And number five, why are her parents proud of her? They are very proud of her. Because? Oh. Because, because she is clever. Okay. Helpful. Helpful, clever. She's a very yeah. nice person, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, very well. Okay, so we are going to continue. Okay. This is something that I guess you already saw there in the platform. So this is a modifiers with participles and prepositions. So uh, this is, it's very easy. So we have, uh, for example, a participle. Whose role is the man wearing a green shirt? So uh, in this case, what we are doing is with a, a participle that is the ing, the gerund. With that one, we are like identifying, like providing more information about a person, uh, someone that you are talking about. So in this case, we, we see that it says he is the man wearing a green shirt. So we describe. I can ask you, for example, who is your teacher? Uh, you can say, ah, the teacher is the man who is wearing uh, glasses. And that would be a good way to use this one. Uh, and the other one says he's the one. We can also say that one, that one this one he is the one talking to Liz of course this is uh, when something is going on in the moment right when you see that somebody is drinking eating walking something like that so do you have any question about this first part no questions no Okay, the other one are prepositions. So um, we're going to use preposition in the same way. 
to provide more information when you want to describe sometimes you need to describe people right when somebody comes and asks you do you know who is the director here and maybe you don't know the name you just turn and say I ah, is the man or in this case it could be she's the woman with the short black hair so you can describe so other person can identify in an easy way uh, this person so we have some examples here who's Liz she is the woman with short black hair uh, so with is the preposition of course which one is Julia or oh, she is the tall one in jeans as you can see you can use also one this one is very interesting because you are using uh, two descriptions she is the tall one so that is the first description in jeans and that is the second description so you can describe or you can add as many things as you want you can say uh, she is the tall one in jeans with red blouse and a blue hat so you can describe or provide more information so other people are able to understand that who are the Smiths they are the people so we can say that as well they are the people next to the window again prepositions right and then the last one says wait I don't know if it's the last one yes which ones are the Smiths so we can say that one they're the ones on the couch okay so you can just describe just remember the usage of preposition right so for example in this case we don't say in the couch it's on the couch because it's sitting on the sofa on the couch okay Okay. Very well. Now, do you have questions about this? No questions. Okay. No so let's continue. A little practice here. So what we're going to do is uh, checking. Uh, we're going to check first the sentences and then we're going to look for the people there you are going to tell me uh, the first one is number eight or number five or whatever you think is it we're going to review first the sentences the first one says Clark is the man playing the guitar so which number is that four. Number four. Yeah. Four. Four. Okay. then it says Sienna is the woman in a green dress drinking coffee. Two, 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 two. Good. Now, then it says Erica is the girl standing next to Sienna. One. Number one. Good. one. Then we have Carol is the one in a blue blouse and brown skirt. Three. 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 Good. Then we have Penny is the tall girl wearing a red sweater. Five. The, number five. Number five. Good. Then it says he is wearing a red baseball cap. Eight. 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 Very good. And then it says he is in a light blue t-shirt sitting on a long on a log. Sorry. Six. Very good. Six. Six. And then she's the woman sitting on the floor. She's wearing light blue pants. Seven. 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 So as you can see, we use this grammar so it's easier for you to identify people. That's that's what we do in this situation. Any questions about this? No questions. Okay, let's practice a little bit. Let's see how it goes. Okay, um, well, not everybody has the camera on or a picture, but we're going to try. Uh, let's see, Francisco, uh, could you please tell me who is Cori Monterosa? Uh, of course, you are going to describe her, right? Uh, she, she is... Um... Uh, debo describirla. 
Yeah, because I don't know who she is. And here She's in the picture. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> now we know. Pues sí, me ayudaron tantito. She she has black hair. Black hair. Um, she she is uh, twenty seven years old. Okay, mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Uh, <laughs> uh, she she live in Metapan. She lives in Metapan. Lives in Metapan. Uh, she is very friendly. Okay. She is clever. Okay. Uh, she is lawyer. Okay, that's good. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's too much. Yeah, we didn't know that one, so that is good to know. Nice. <laughs> okay, okay, now let's see. Um, Cory, you are going to describe. Um, do you remember Jonathan? Or do you know Jonathan? Jonathan, no, I don't no. know. Yeah, him. there is no picture there. Okay, don't worry. Yeah. So let's describe Fleur. Fleur, let me find her. Okay. Fleur. She's beautiful. Okay. <laughs> and she wears a blue shirt, blue blouse. Blue blouse, good. And she's, she looks cheerful. Cheerful, good. <laughs> and she has a big smile. She has a big smile. And the curly hair, I think. Very well. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Flor, uh, you are going to describe Gerardo. Okay. Gerardo has black hair. Mm -hmm. He has um, black eyes. Black eyes. He's wearing a blue light teacher. A light blue or uh, mm -hmm. light blue, light blue teacher. Um, he has a round face. Round face, good. And he has small ears. Small ears, good. Um, he has uh, round eyes. Round eyes, good. And only. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Now, uh, Gerardo, you are going to describe Brenda Sandoval. She has black hair, hair. Okay. He wears glasses. She wears glasses. She is beautiful. Okay. She is smart. She's smart, okay. And that's Only. it. Right? Okay. Thank you. Brenda Sandoval, you are going to describe Brenda Cruz. She has black hair. Black hair. Black hair. Black hair. She has beautiful. She is beautiful. She is beautiful. And she has blouse. <laughs> She's going to bother you. Tomorrow. <laughs> you can say a black and white blouse. Black one. Okay. Okay. Um, um, that is it if you want. Don't okay. Worry. Okay. Thank you. Brenda Cruz, you are going to describe Omar Ayala. Um, Omar has a oval face. Okay. Uh, he has a 
big smile. Okay. Uh, he has a uh, brown eyes. He has brown eyes. Okay. And brown hair. Okay. He wears a red red t-shirt or ocre, ocre. Burgundy. Burgundy t-shirt. Uh, he wears a uh, audiphonous hair hair headphones. Hair, headphones. Okay. And he clever. Okay, he's clever. Nice. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Omar, you are going to describe um, Jenny. There is a picture there that you can describe. We can't hear anything, I don't know. I see that you are unmute, but I can't hear any anything. So you have problems, I guess. Okay, don't worry. Okay, uh, Jonathan, you are going to describe Jenny. Okay. <clears throat> uh, she has blonde hair. Okay. And she has white skin. Okay. Uh, she is cheerful. Okay. She wears uh, black blouse. Okay. Mm. Uh, uh, um, she has a small ear. Small ears. Okay. Ears. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, and that's it. Okay, perfect. Thank you. And Jenny, let's see if we can find somebody to describe. Um, I guess everybody, well, we don't have more pictures or any other a camera is open, so we are not able to continue describing, but that is okay. We are going to continue with the class then. Very well, let me check. He can describe you, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Uh, teacher? Yes, okay. please continue. Go ahead. Uh, he is very friendly. Okay. Uh, he has black hair. Okay. Uh, he has glasses. Okay. Where's glasses? Uh, Where is glasses? Uh, he has black eyes. Okay. Um, he is very clever. Clever. Okay. He has short hair. Okay. Only. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Very good. Okay. So we have practiced a little bit. Now we're going to continue practicing uh, no, the no. grammar. Ah, now it's better. Yeah, <laughs> we can hear you now. That's good. Okay, so in, yeah, maybe something happened. There is an ID. Okay, so what we're going to do is to uh, we're going to rewrite, not rewrite, but you are going to tell me the statements using modifiers with participles or prepositions. So that is the grammar that we were checking, right? The first one says Clark is the tall guy. And then he's wearing a shirt in cargo pants. Cargo pants are those kind of pants that you have pockets uh, on the sides that are kind of military, you know, something like that. So, uh, who is going to be the first one? Can you please help me? We're going to transform. We're going to put together the two sentences, but with participles or prepositions, like the grammar that we check. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. 
So, how is going to be the first one? Any idea, somebody? Okay, I'm going to help you with the first one. Actually, it's very easy. You can say Clark is the tall guy wearing a shirt and cargo pants. That is it. Como solo dejarla en una oración. Yeah, do you remember? Okay, yeah. I'm going to. Okay. No. Uh, is this. Sí, porque... This is what we're doing. He is the man wearing a green shirt. One sentence. Uh, okay. So here are uh, two okay. sentences. He is the man and he is wearing a green shirt. So what we're going to okay. do is we're going to change them into one sentence only, but using participles, that is ing, and here we have an ing already, or preposition, okay? Okay, so number two, okay, who is going sure. to be number two? Adam and Louise are good looking couple. 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 And they are talking to Tom. I know, otra vez lo dije. <laughs> <laughs> you said it the same. Perdón, teacher. And oh. talking to Tom. Okay, yeah, that would be good. Adam uh, and Luis. Yeah. Adam and Luis are the good looking are... couple talking to Tom. That is it. Talking to Tom. Yeah, because we have a, a, an ING word there, so it's going to be very easy. So it's going to be just like Adam and Louis are the good looking couple talking to Tom. That is it. No big deal. Do you know what is good looking? Buena suerte. Good looking. No, que se miran bien. Yeah. Good, good looking. looking is, uh -huh. And couple uh, are es two people. Uh, looking. Looking at the, the verse. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the next one says, Aline is a young girl. She's in a stripped t-shirt and blue jeans. Striped, is it? So, how is going to be that one? Aline is a young girl. Aline is the, the young girl wearing stripped... Mm, no. Yeah, you can say that one. Wearing, wearing a stripped t-shirt and blue jeans. That is it. Line is the young girl wearing a striped t-shirt and blue jeans. Good. Right. Uh, also, right. there is another way here. You can say line is the young girl in a striped t-shirt and blue jeans. Okay. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's very easy. Actually, it's not that complicated. ¿Y cuál es la, cuál es la striped t-shirt? Uh, do you remember yesterday that we were talking that striped are like with lines? Ah, okay. Okay. Okay, yes. Okay, number four. How is going to be number four? Jessica is the attractive woman sitting to the left of Antonio. Very good. Perfect. Jessica is the attractive woman sitting to the left of Antonio. Antonio is a lucky man. Yes. Number five. How is it going to be number five? Alison is the serious looking girl playing a video game. That's it. Alison is the serious looking girl playing a video game. So I guess serious looking girl, that is uh, easy to understand. Uh, then number six, how is it going to be? Tom and Patrick are the tall guys swimming in the pool. Very good. Tom and Patrick are the tall guys swimming in the pool. Nice. And the final one, number seven, how is going to be? Steve is the fat boy wearing a light green hat. That is it. Steve is the fat boy wearing a light green hat. That is it. As you can see, it's, it's kind of easy. Okay. Okay, this topic is very, very interesting. 
This is called the present perfect tense. Okay? So the first thing that we are going to check is when do we use the present perfect tense? Okay? So you remember that we were, for first of all, we were discussing the simple present tense. So the, pre, uh, the simple present tense is for habits, routines, things that you usually do, right? Then we checked into the simple past tense, that is actions that finished already, actions in the past. So the present perfect tense, this is for, for first of all, finished actions, but there are past events with present results. So something happened before, but there are some results because of that action, there is a result here. So for example, she has lost her wallet. That means that she still doesn't have her wallet. So the action happened in the past, but still there is like a Nothing. consequence on that one, right? So she can find it. She has lost it. O sea que sigue pasando, pues. It's something like that. Something happened, but still there is like a result on, into that action. Okay. The other one is recent completed action. Recent. So, for example, when we say, I have just finished my project. Okay. So, that is a moment ago, a day ago, very recently. Okay. Then we have unfinished action. That means the duration from the past until now. For example, I have lived in Paris for five years. That means that I started living here in Paris five years ago, but I continue living in Paris. Okay. Then we have um, multiple actions at different times. So, for example, I have seen David several times. So, that happens many times. We don't know when, but it was many times. Okay? So, we can use the present perfect for that. Okay. Then, we have the changes over time. So, this is very similar to used to. Do you remember when you say, I used to play with my friends? That means... We don't play anymore. It's very similar this one. I have become more interested in medical issues. That means that before I was not interested. Now that changed. Okay. Then we have accomplishments. So when you successfully do something. For example, the man has walked on the moon. So that is something important that happened. And it's an accomplishment. You can say, I have graduated already. An accomplishment. Okay? Accomplishment okay. son como okay. acontecimientos. Como logros. Okay. And also we have uh, life experiences. So this is probably the most common. When somebody says, have you ever eaten sushi before? So something that you have experienced. Have you ever gone to Costa Rica? Have you drank coffee in the morning? Any experience? Okay. Y ahí va el verbo en pasado. Ya vamos a ver eso. That is very interesting. Sí, un poco complicado, sí. No, it's very easy. You are going to see that it's going to be very easy. Okay, so questions about this? About when do we use the present perfect? Uh, I have a question. Go ahead. Uh, the verb is is in past in simple past or part participle. We're going to check that in a minute. But it's going to be a participle. Any other question?
Okay, so now we are going to check the formula, the structure. Okay, for affirmative, we're going to use the subject, Carlos, any subject, and then the auxiliary for the present perfect is going to be have or has. That is the auxiliary. And then we have the past participle of the verb. It's not the simple past, but the past participle. An example for example, here is going to be, I have tried sushi. So I is the subject, have is the auxiliary, try is the verb in past participle. The rest is the complement. Good thing is that all the regular verbs are going to be the same. Studied, played, um, learned. It's going to be the same, okay? For negative, we're going to have the subject, then the auxiliar, have or has. Has is going to be for third person, so remember that. He, she, it. In negative. So here the auxiliar is going to be have not or haven't, or has not or hasn't. And then, of course, the past participle of the verb. Here, yes, we are going to change the verb. Do you remember that in the simple past, we say, did you eat? The verb didn't change, only the auxiliary. Here in the present perfect, yes, the verb is going to change. Okay. okay. And for the questions, we're going to use first, as usual, the auxiliary, have or has and then the subject, and then the past participle of the verb. For example, have you tried sushi? That is a very good example. Do you have any questions about this? Teacher, I have you tried try sushi? Es como si lo has probado o... o... Sí, Así ese que, es, eso sería el try, tiempo. Uh -huh. Ese tiempo. Es que ver... Go ahead. The try. Es el verbo try. Uh -huh. De tratar. O probar. Ah, okay. Okay. okay, okay. Very well. So, yes, este, este tiempo, quizá un poco en español, eh, sería como eso. Has hecho, has tratado, has venido, has comido. ¿verdad? Yo he hecho esto. So that is called in English the present perfect tense. Okay. Now the interesting part, as you can see, is very easy. You just have to remember that the auxiliary is have or has. Okay. As you can see, in the affirmative, we use auxiliary. So we always use auxiliary, have or has. And we always use the past participle, always, all the time. That is the main difference. So it's very, very easy. The only problem is that we need to learn the verb in past participle. Mm. So only the irregulars. Regulars are going to be exactly the same. But the irregulars... To remember the irregular means that we don't have a rule. It can be different. It can be the same. It can change mm -hmm. the pronunciation. Uh -huh. We don't have a rule. Okay? So that will be the only difference. Okay? So first thing that we are going to do is to repeat. We are going to check the pronunciation. Okay? Okay. So let's repeat everybody. B. 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 Was where? Was where? Was where? Been. 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 Begin. 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 Begun. 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 Bend. 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 Bend.
Bite. Bite. Bit. 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 Blow. 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 Blue. Blue. Blown. 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 Break. 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 Brook. 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 Broken. 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 Bring. 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 Brout. 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 Build. 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 Burn. 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 Okay, for burn, you are going to see there, there are two uh, words, but the pronunciation is the same. So it's going to be um, burnt. Burn. 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 Burnt. Burn. Burn. Bye. 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 Bout. 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 Catch. 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 Cout. 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 Come. 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 Came. Came. Come. Come. Cust. 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 Cut. 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 Choose. 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 Chose. 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 Chosen. 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 Dig. Dig. Dug. 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 Do. Do. Did. Did. Done. Done. Draw. Draw. Drew. Drew. Drown. Drown. Dream. Dream. Dreamt. 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 Drink. 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 Drunk. 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 Drive. Drive. Drug. Drug. Driven. Driven. Eat. 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 Fall. Fall. Fell. Fell. Fallen. Fallen. Feed. Feed. Fed. 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 Okay, let's continue with the other ones. Um, feel. 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 Felt. 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 Fight. 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 Fout. 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 Find. 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 Found. 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 Fly. 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 Flew. 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 Flown. 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 Get. 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 Got. 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 Give. 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 Gave. 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 Given. 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 Go. 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 Went. 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 Gone. 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 Grow. 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 Grew. 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 Ground. 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 Have. 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 Uh, let me just move. Um, hold on a second. This got stuck. Uh, I just came over. Let's continue. We were in here. 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 Heard. 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 Uh, hide. 
Hi. Hi. Hid. Hid. Hidden. Hit. 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 Hold. 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 Held. 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 Hurt. 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 Keep. Keep. Kept. 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 No. 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 New. New. Known. Known. Kneel. Kneel. Knelt. 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 Learn. 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 Learned. 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 Leave. Leave. Left. 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 Lose. Lose. Lost. 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 Make. Make. Made. 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 Mean. 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 Meant. 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 Meet. 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 Met. 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 Pay. Pay. Paid. Pay. Paid. 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 Okay, these of course are just a few verbs. I mean, there are others. But as you can see, uh, the most of them are the same in simple past and past participle. And my best advice for you is to learn the ones that are different, and that's it. Okay? Uh, tomorrow, we are going to uh, check the meaning of the verbs and also an example with those. That is going to be the first activity for tomorrow. So for today, uh, do you have any questions? Esto, esto solo es para el caso de los irregulares. Esos son los irregulares. verbos que acabamos de ver. Sí, porque los regulares okay. no cambian. Va a ser lo mismo. Siempre con okay. la idea y las mismas reglas. ¿verdad? Todo igual. Ok. 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 Okay, my friends, remember that tomorrow is the last day to submit the papers for the next level. And it was a pleasure to be with you. Have a wonderful night and see you tomorrow. Okay, okay teacher. teacher. Thank you. See you. Good night. Good tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.